for your continued support. This is Sam from Max Alternative. Today we're going to look at how to set up your own email marketing system. By now we know that email marketing can be very expensive and can, can, can eat into our budget, marketing budget for that matter. There's an efficient way through which you can run your email campaign. One of the ways is having your own custom email marketing system. So today we are going to look at how you can set up an email marketing system from scratch. And then you can run your campaign at very low cost, a fraction of a cost. So our tutorial today will be about Power MTA installation and MailWiz or any other mailer. So an email marketing system has two parts. The first part, it contains uh, an SMTP server and the second part, it contains a mailer. I like looking at SMTP server as the engine that pushes out the emails and the mailer as the body. So the mailer is that platform, user-friendly, where you go upload your contacts, you run your campaign, you check out your statistics. But when you send out your campaign, what runs in the back end is the SMTP server. So we have many SMTP servers in the, in the market that you can use in setting up your custom email marketing system. But for this tutorial specifically, we are going to look at Power MTA. It's an enterprise solution and it's one of the best. So let's jump into it. So the first stage, you need to download an SSH client called Putty. So if you go to this URL, you're going to download put here. I've already downloaded it. It looks something of this kind. So I don't need to redownload it. The second thing that um, you need to have is winter CP. Winter CP looks something of this kind. You go to their site and then you download it here. I already have it. It will look something of this nature. So I don't need to redownload that as well. All right. So the next um, thing after you've downloaded the two is you need to acquire a VPS domain and the power MTA itself. So where do you get um, a VPS? Remember not all providers allow cold email, running cold emails with their VPS. So the favorite I've come across is email belt. So you go to email belt and then uh, you come here to the store and then you have the VPS. I highly recommend going for the SSD2 or SSD uh, Cloud 3. So for instance, you just come here, you click on order now. You put in the host name. Uh, your host name can be something like server.yourdomain.com. But you have the room of changing this at any time. So this is, I mean, your actual domain, not this way. So, and then you're going to put uh, the password there. For the NS1 prefix, you put NS1. For the NST, you put NS2. 
and then if you want to uh, get additional IPs you can also purchase additional IPs as well uh, for the operating system it has to be CentOS 7 and uh, these are additional features that you can accompany to your VPS and then you can hit on continue and then you can um, you can uh, close on that transaction the beauty is they also allow crypto payments so uh, there you go and then you can put in your details and then you can check out the other thing that you need is uh, the power MTA these are the files that you're going to host in your VPS so where do you get the power MTA files is you come here Called Spark Post. These are these are the the sellers of our MTA, and then you can get a free trial, or you can sign in. So in case you face any challenge with this uh, bit, you can always uh, feel free to reach out. So let me not belabor much about getting the the Power MTA file. So having done that if you are using an um, external mailer that will be okay you do not need you can skip stage three the reason why we have stage three is in case you want to have um, you want to use um, a cloud email marketing platform because we have desktop version of email marketing platforms a cloud version uh, call it uh, maybe mailwiz or maltic we have to go to stage three but in case you're already using platforms that are in existence for instance rubedo being one of uh, uh, the best email marketing systems and it comes with uh, lots of features it's loaded and you may want to check it out you will have the link in the description all you need is you just skip this stage and you can go to the next stage but for the purpose of this tutorial we are going to work with um, uh, mailwiz all right so we are going to install our um, uh, cyber panel and the beauty about cyber panel is you just do this by running one command so i'm going to get my vps once you buy a vps you get um, an ip address with a username and a username and a password so uh, you can either get it um, most providers use uh, uh, share this when it's in uh, a root um, the username being root if by any chance uh, the username is not root again there are a few commands that one can run and they can get um, their vps in the root format so for now i will jump into my putty paste this open it's gonna look something of that kind my username is root and I'm going to input the password of that uh, VPS there you go then the next thing I want to do is now copy this command and paste it here and then click enter uh, it's going to fetch the VPS it takes a few seconds this section and then um, there you go i'm gonna hit number one uh, install cyber panel with open light number one yes install full service of cyber panel include power dns postfix and puf ftpd yes
you're being asked if you want a remote mysql this one say no then you hit enter then you're going to set the password uh the password of your of your cyber panel so you can leave it as default or you can set one so i'm gonna hit s to set and then i'm going to put uh, my password there you will put the password there you go you you want to install mem cached the answer is yes uh ready process the answer is yes and then the last bit is whether you want to install the watchdog queue and you're supposed to put y in capital the yes that way and then you hit enter so this process takes around uh, 15 to 20 minutes